think that the basis behind the calling universe can be expressed with one word, sadness. Each of us has different triggers that generate sadness. Damage to each of us, regardless of its magnitude, leaves a scar on our souls. Those scars accumulate to an inescapable emotion that is directed outward as well as building up to such an extent that it envelops our whole personality at times. The basic concept of this game's atmosphere is expression of horror in a traditional Japanese way. The developers at Hudson first looked to our surroundings for clues as to how to formally approach the horror genre, looking for everyday things that would express the very mysterious world of fear. We knew that way of approaching this would be difficult, especially since we didn't intend on going about it directly with blood and gore, but instead wanted to stimulate the psyche so as to further enhance the fear by triggering each individual's imagination, and that way, the experience of playing the game would be a little different for each person. There is a chat site called The Black Page where it's rumored that you can communicate with the dead. Little does everyone know that once you participate in this chat room, you are pulled into a realm between the living and the dead. The realm consists of memories of people who are dragged into this place from such places as schools and hospitals and the story unfolds from within this realm. The question of whether the Wii owners in today's market will actually play a horror game has come up. But, I have to say, this is a real opportunity for us to present the wide Wii audience with a totally new creation and an experience unlike any other on the platform. It started with the idea of using the Wii Remote as a cell phone to give it an extra dimension of reality. So, while playing this game, I'd really advise everybody to put the Wii Remote to your ears and listen to what the characters are saying. Whether it's your companion's advice or a pleading for life from a gruesome spirit, various voices will play with your senses. Using the phone, which is a key item within this realm and in the game, people will attempt to solve the mysteries behind this strange world and ultimately escape from it. There is a main character to the overall story, but when you're playing the game, you are a different person in each chapter, and by experiencing each person's perspective, the thrill of solving the mystery becomes more complex, more interesting, so all the characters are essential. Our initial thought was to make a Japanese horror type of atmosphere that's situated in an everyday environment. We wanted to express the kind of fear and fearful atmosphere that lurks in the corners of any familiar neighborhood. The game also includes both passive and active fear factors, so the players can get their spooks in various ways, both by doing things and just having things happen to them. Western horrors tend to put their focus on portraying graphic images or expressing horrible acts, whereas the direction that we're aiming for is the scare factor built much more on tapping the senses and psychology and the imagination of the individual.